Well, I'd like to say good afternoon to you. And Ed, Owen, I good afternoon give you a to kiss. you too. That's all right. You can, give me a, you can give me a kiss if you like. People will talk, but still. Now, Owen, we are sat near a lake right on the edge of the area where you are yeah. pastor of the church. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. We're in uh, East Witchell at the moment, which is part of uh, Witchelstow and uh, East Witchell is now 10 years old. We've celebrated its birthday uh, this year and Middle Witchell, that's the bit that some of you might be familiar with, with Waitrose and the Deanery School opening in September and that wonderful Hall and Woodhouse pub. That's Middle Witchell and the footings are going in for the first houses that are there. But yeah, uh, I'm minister of, co-minister of the Stowe which is based in Witchelstow and because the only bit of Witchelstow that's been here up till now is East Witchell. That's why we're around this beautiful lake. Right, now how long have you been here? Uh, four years on Sunday. And from the first day you've had home mission giving. Yes. To so support you and the staff. Yeah, that's right. So from before my time up until now, uh, we've been a church that has benefited hugely from uh, home mission grants and uh, started off uh, when Ali Bolton was the sole minister and every year we've continued to apply for home mission funding. It's gone down every year uh, and uh, but we still really, really need home mission funding to stay afloat. So what, what kind of... Uh, outcomes have happened because you've had home mission funding? Well let's cut to the chase. Essentially what home mission funding does is allow the stove to appoint a minister to be full time. Really that's the sole cost of the stove is to have a minister. There are, the money that is spent on other things is so tiny that essentially what home mission funding has allowed is to top up the funding that uh, the regular givers of the stone give to be able that for them to appoint me as a full-time minister. So what they're getting with that really is uh, it's probably a better phrase to call it, but I call it like purposeful presence. There's me living, uh, like it took me about 30 seconds to cycle here. I live right in the middle of which or stone. Uh, the distance that I travel to my community is the width of my front wall. I haven't even got a garden at the front of my house. So I open the front door and I'm there in the middle of my community being a prayerful, purposeful presence within that community, seeking the blessing of the community, seeking God's will to be done, his kingdom to come, uh, to come and his name to be hallowed. And, th and that's actually why we need to pay for people like you, because you're a theologically trained, biblically reflected upon individual, and you bring all that insight from your college. I guess so. i tell you something. I was um, Just this week, I uh, was telling someone about the word help that I would read about uh, in Genesis. And you know where it says uh, God created Eve as a helper for Adam? Yeah. And uh, sometimes people, I feel like, have misinterpreted helper, like, oh, bless Adam. If he was just a bit stronger, he wouldn't have needed Eve. But, you know, just to help him out a bit, we'll give him Eve to be his helper. And how that's a really poor translation of the word help. And in my prayers, I would sort of prayed, uh, God, would you help us? Uh, and then I sort of stopped using help because it felt like I was asking God to help me out just like I was nearly strong enough God but not quite so will you help me get over the line and so I stopped using it because I'd sort of that's how I understood help but I was reading about or hearing about the word help just this week in a podcast and it's just transformed how I see that uh, it says that the word help is a salvation word that it can be translated do for me what I can't do for myself yeah. so yeah. when Adam when God gives Adam a helper God gives Adam someone who does for him what he cannot do, do for, for himself, himself. Right. and that's like a Jesus word Jesus does for us what we cannot do for ourselves and so just as I was cycling over here I was like that's a home mission word as well Home mission is a help word, it's a salvation word. It does for the stove what we cannot do for ourselves. So without home mission, 
the stone would look radically and vastly different. So it's an different. expression of Jesus' salvation. Uh, now, it's a Christ-likeness. Absolutely. Now, I um, often have found when I've talked to people, um, most people, they have opinions, but their opinions are very sort of not seriously thought out or thought through. I guess as a trained minister, you can help people to think things through to come to that sense of real honesty and reality yeah. which holds together not only their life but their faith too. Would you say that's the case? Yeah, and it definitely. And because of the privilege of being a minister that's called to an incarnational way of living, that I'm not saying that other ministers aren't, but the fact that I live in the community, that I am as I'm friends with more people who wouldn't say that they are Christians than with those who are. I get those opportunities all the time. Just yesterday, across the dustbin, I'm talking to my neighbour about the poignancy of losing his dog mm -hmm. and, and of other life circumstances changing and about meaning and purpose in, in life. And that was just a chance conversation that happened when I was mending this bike. Uh, it's such a privilege. So that's, that's good because actually, because of the giving of our wider denomination, it allows us as a church to give the gift of you to this area because actually New Testament says you are a gift of the Spirit and you're there to prepare God's people for works of ministry. Yeah. And that's what you do. And that's what you share. Owen, God bless you <laughs> in that ministry. And thank you for what you do. And thank you, Gorse Hill, for being a supporter of Home Mission. Really love it. Thank you very much. God bless you guys. Bye. Bye.